this will be for the AFL Flyweight Championship. Let's first welcome to the cage fighter number one. He is challenger number one. Out of the blue corner, Sharif Cheetah Oripov. Sharif Oripov, 125-pounder, representing Hard Knocks, 365. Hey, listen, at 5'10", tall, drink of water for 126. Now, he is 3 and 0. Oh. He has a taste of it. Yeah, that's a, that is a tall fella there. Um, tall, lean, lean. Out of the Hard Knocks, 365. Organization they have put a ton of fighters on tonight's cards. We all had uh, pretty good showing. Um, three four pop here again gets Reese there last second wearing the uh, UFC fight kit. Always nice. Nice to high split on the fight shorts for Sharif Orapop. One must assume that he will be looking to throw some kicks with a split like that. I hope so. Grace on, hugs given, taking the center of the cage, 125 pounds, 3 0, looking to claim a vacant AFL flyweight title. Sharif, what a pop. And now, fight fans, we welcome to the cage fighter number two out of the red corner. Challenger number two for our flyweight championship main event. He is Jake Miami Wade. Jake Miami Wade walking out to about as good a theme music as you're going to hear if that's your name, especially here in Hallandale. A couple miles away from Dade County, Jake Wade, 3 and 2, 125 pounder out of Valhalla MMA, making the final walk of the evening. Walking last. Looking forward to see what he brings to the table. Couple of uh, experienced fighters mixing it up for a title, which I don't even know if they knew was uh, on the line. So, this may be a surprise to them that they're fighting for a title. It's not listed on my infographic as a title fight coming into the night, so I don't know. Who knows? I am excited either way. Let's hope that it pushes them forward. These guys put on the best fights of their career. I don't know either guy on a personal level, so I only wish that they uh, perform the best of their abilities and represent their teams and themselves with the utmost. Jake Wade, hair done, crawls into the ring, 125 are set to get after it. And our main event of the evening, Blake Chadwick, you know what time it is, brother. Ladies and gentlemen of Hallandale Beach, Florida, inside Gulfstream Park, and everyone watching worldwide. Get up, get loud, and gather around. It's main event time. Ladies and gentlemen, the following is your Action Fight League main event of the evening, set in the AFL flyweight division, brought to you by Billionaires Row, and it is for the AFL. Flyweight Championship! So with three three-minute rounds of action, when the bell rings, the man in charge, Adrino. Introducing first to my left, fighting out of the blue corner, he is challenger number one. He stands at five feet, ten inches tall. He weighed in at 126 pounds. He enters this fight with an amateur MMA record of three wins and zero losses. And fighting out of Hard Knocks 365 in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Ladies and gentlemen, he is Sharif. Sheeta! Oh, 
And his opponent across the cage, standing to my right, fighting out of the red corner, he is challenger number two. Standing at five feet, eight inches tall, he weighed in at 130 pounds. He enters this fight with an amateur MMA record of three wins and two losses. And fighting out of Valhalla MMA in Port Charlotte, Florida. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Jake. Miami! Wee! We went over the rules in the locker room. Obey my command at all time. Protect yourself at all time. No elbows, no knee to the head. Any question? Blue corner? Red corner? Touch them off if you want. Go back to your corner, come fight. AFL Floyd Weight Championship main event. AFL Floyd Weight Championship on the line here. Sharif Oripov, Jake Miami Wade. Round number one underway, scheduled for three. This will not be a five round contest, three three minute rounds. Jake Wade on the pressure, good left hand from Wade. A couple of guys here looking to make a huge impact in this Flyweight Championship main event as Oropov here looking to get in a grounded pound position, Blake. Yeah, looking to split the guard, come into it, and uh, active guard for sure for Wade. Nice back job by Wade to pop right back up and yep. avoid any disaster right there. Yeah, threatening early with that guard, Oropov did not want to jump in there. As Oropov here. Oh, nice Uchimata. Beautiful takedown. Yep. You hear that called a wizard kick by Daniel Cormier. That's a Uchimata, my friend. On top now, looking to drive in. Got that arm stuck underneath there. Got to clear it out as Oropov. As Oropov here, who does have a little bit of a size advantage, a couple of inches, mm -hmm. and does look a lot lankier than his counterpart in Wade. Yeah, Wade climbing high, stuck that arm bar there. Trying Oropov to sneak in there is Oropov. And you see him really setting up his, his motions right here, Blake, really picking his spots. Mm -hmm. Yep, nice spin around pass there. Uh, Wade was looking to maybe catch the foot and play a little uh, De La Hiva, but Oropov was all the way around the guard there. Side Angels. control here. Yep, nice and tight. As Oropov looking to sneak some shots in perhaps. As Good. Wade, not a whole lot of places to go right here. Good control, got the underhook. He's around the arm now. He might be looking to transition to north-south. He's, he's, he's switching his reverse half, looking for a choke here. Absolutely looking, looking for a monster choke. Absolutely. Halfway through this first round. Oropov Wade. looking for a, no, bails on it. Wade trying to sprawl out of it here. Oropov has the advantage. Oropov's in a good position here to take away Wade using that cage. If, if, if Oropov was still in side control, Wade could push off that cage and make a reverse position. But where he is in this north-south position, takes away the ability to push off that cage with that cheap reversal. Now Wade pushes off the cage, but Blake Bowman, Wade putting himself essentially in the center where nowhere to go. Yeah, well, he's, he's not... It doesn't matter who's in the, in the, the, the center or not. Here. Looking to take the back here. No, nope, bails on that. Orpov might be looking for a Kimura. He's also reversing his hat. There you see again, feeding a back. A lot of directions to go from this position, Blake. He's looking, he's looking for the Monson choke right here. He's getting it. He's closer than it was last time. Looking to dig it in here, Wade. Yeah, he's under the, yeah, it's just a neck crank there. Wade doing a good job of recognizing that, getting through there, getting his head out of that choke. Not a whole lot of options here for Wade. He's essentially been in the same position for almost two minutes now. And Oropov, nice job right as Wade pops up to continue yeah, the output. Good pressure, good knee from Wade though. Wade looking to make some space. Oropov backs off. That knee hurt him bad enough that Oropov backed out of there. And Wade coming with a thunderous right to no avail. Mm -hmm. But Wade right back in this fight. And big punches there, big spinning kick there. We saw a fight end with that earlier. High kick from Wade. A lot of action here in this first round. Our final 10 seconds coming right now. Yeah, Orpov doing the right thing. He's leading with that right hand against the southpaw as he enters. He's got outside the foot though. He hit that right hand and shoot. Orpov trying to mix it up with the knees and the yep. kicks in addition to the punches. Don't have time. Oh, just scores a takedown. No time to work. Round number one in the books. Action packed. Certainly living up to its main event billing right there, Blake. A lot of action, as you said, in our flyweight title main event first round. Yep, some good exchanges there. Inside kick from Oropov, nothing doing. Caught the kick, track forward, and again, active guard from Wade. Now Oropov circles here, steps through. Uchimata, perfect. Actually had the uh, overhook on that side, around the head. Not an overhook, a headlock. Good job kicking away, and immediately pressure from Oropov. Knee to the stomach, boom. Another one for good measure, boom. That made Oropov back off and break contact here, so that hurt. So certainly, again, a lot of action. 
packed into three minutes right there as we head now to round number two. And I was having a conversation earlier on, Blake, with Jake Miami Wade. This is a fighter, he can go flyweight, he can go bantamweight, he can go featherweight, walks at about 130. This is a guy who really will take on just about anyone that steps in front of him. Yeah, as an amateur, maybe he does not want to go against some featherweights that I know. I know guys cut from 75 to 45. He does not want to step into that round walking at 130. But... Um, <clears throat> We'll see what Miami can do right here in South Florida. Coming to us from Port Charlotte, Florida with Valhalla MMA. Some mixed results here tonight. Yeah, the flying knee, they were legal. Yeah, he thought about it anyway. Uh, you have to expect Oropov to uh, get back on the ground on attack. He did seem to be very comfortable there. And Sharif Oropov at 3-0 in his career, Blake, has not faced a lot of adversity. A huge opportunity for him here tonight. Very light on his feet. I like I like Oropov's movement on the feet here. He's not a, he's not a bad striker. He's a very good striker despite being a... Uh, Pretty strong grappler. They will see good body lock there down low. Underhook for uh, Wade, looking to get another one as well. Wade trying to push him off and right back in to the guard goes Oropov. Just a nice little outside trip. It's more of a heel kick than anything on top. In the full guard, though, locked up. A lot better position for Wade than he was in the first round. Certainly, the I, I totally agree with you there, Blake. As He's Wade on a triangle. Again. Wade's on a triangle. Oropov smart to it. A lot more options here for Jake to be able to escape this one. Grabbing the cage, okay. So Oropov, the top man, grabbed the cage. That's the warning. Stood him back up, though. If he goes back to that well, Blake, that will very well play a role in terms of the scoring for Oropov in a negative fashion. It would have to, you think so. As right now, Oropov! Oh, beautiful boy, belly to oh belly. Boy. Yeah, brother. Taking him to school right here is Oropov. Yes, indeed, right there in that side control position. More classical now, got the lock, the left arm under the head, right arm. And this time, Blake, Wade does not have that cage to work with. Nope. The right arm controlling the underhook very well for Oropov on top. Good job of framing the face for Wade. Get his arm back out of there. But Oropov is not scared to switch off to a cars here, or uh, he was looking for that monster choke earlier. Right back in that same position yeah. as we saw in late round one. Yep, back in the north-south, and there are some attacks here. There's a good Kimura attack from here. There's a good back take from here. And Blake in this north-south position, the size of Oropov will have to give him an advantage. It's going to keep him focused in, but the arms are what he's, he's, he's attacking chokes here. He's looking for a power choke now. Uh, good job of Wade being savvy to it. That's a position that you don't see a whole lot uh, in mixed martial arts, but it is an old-school jiu-jitsu see it, uh, wrestlers, sambo, catch wrestlers, all those guys, they have good attacks from there. Oropov um, with a series of oh! right and puts Wade right back down. Was he up? And Oropov now throws some good shots coming down from the ground outside the guard. Wade trying to tie him up here. Continuing to not let up, and Oropov, that has been one feather in his cap throughout this fight, Blake. He has not let up each and every time he's been now, on the offensive top, attack. Yeah, massive top control. Doing it. Looking to pass here, does a big punch pass. Classic, kicking him off is Wade. Now Wade can up kick here. And Wade trying to coax him into the guard. And Oropov, oh, he stuns him right there, Blake, That's with that kick coming guy. right back up. Now Oropov with a combination, I but mean, Jake Wade's not backing down. I mean, Oropov is timing these perfectly, apparently, to where as soon as Jake Wade is on two points, he's throwing, firing his kicks away. That's two that were just split second with Manny Ali. That cheetah-like quickness from well, Sharif Oropov. And there. Blake Bowman, two rounds in the books. We still have three minutes left to go, but it looks like our blue corner in that driver's seat to become the new AFL flyweight champ. So far, so good. There we see the one underhook, not enough. Just a beautiful little reap there. Ojigari. High kick there, blocked, but uh, Wade looking, gives it up, and then up, and it's just a hip pop. I mean, that is- Textbook. Greco 101, yeah. Beautiful, that's a, that's a four pointer. And Sharif Oropov certainly has shown a well diversity of disciplines throughout this fight. Boom, yeah, he was up. That was a legal shot. And here we go Bates right him here. Again, Wade coming back up. I don't and you know can that see he was the up face that right one. there. That one I was certainly know. questionable. I think his hand was still down. He certainly looked a bit questionable right there, but if you saw the look in Wade's eyes on that kick, he was yeah. absolutely stunned. Yeah, well, it was right in the mush. Um, And so here we go, three more minutes to go. Sharif Oropov, Jake Wade. Something's got to give in this one. And we'll see what Miami can do. Wade not scared to put pressure against the takedown artist here. I like that. 
and Wade will need to be very aggressive in this final frame to sway the judges' minds. Yeah, got to get something going, though. Some good oh, oh, and Wade goes down. Orpov with the hammer fist. He's yeah. raining him down, Blake. Yes, he is. He I sees think. light at the end of the tunnel. He's running that turn. Down the stretch he comes, and that is a wrap. Indeed he do. It is indeed a back handspring. I think that... Um, I think it was a, a little low. I think that Wade was saying that shot was a little low. Let's take a look here. No, Wade Allen stunned, wasn't. and the hammer fists rained down. They look certainly legal from our vantage point. They're those, slipping those through. Oh, yeah. Those are, those totally are slipping legal. through. Oropov mixing up the rights and the left, and all Padrino can do at that point, Blake, is stop the fight. Yeah, it's a great stoppage at that point. I think that uh, Wade was signaling that, may oh, is, is something hurt. The doctors are checking in here on Wade as ah. we'll certainly hope for the best as it looks like he might be clutching his shoulder, I'm not sure. Nose is busted up too, that was a big flurry he took there. There was a strange of kicks that looked like he kind of squatted a little bit, like maybe one was a little bit low, but and shoulder. Again, and again, it just shows you, Blake, Sharif Oropov not letting up at all on his attack, no. not giving pressure. any room for error for Wade to pop back up. Beautiful pressure, beautiful attacks. And seconds later, we've got a brand new flyweight champ. Yep, that's how you want to do it. And Podra will win by stoppage. Big flurry like that. Fight fans, referee Padrino stops the fight at one minute, 28 seconds of round number three. Your winner by TKO with the strikes out of the blue corner. And new AFL flyweight champion, Sharif. Cheetah! Oripa! Mike A. Cheetah indeed. Iron Man. Is T Bell coming out? What's going on here? We all know that's a T Bell only song. Let's see. I assume we're going to get the appropriate medical professionals. Blake's out going to grab a word with uh, Mr. Orapop. Come on, come on, Jay. Sharif Orapop, the cheetah, moving to 4-0, the brand new flyweight champion, unscathed in your MMA career. Take us through this fight. You won via TKO. I just want to say thank you for everyone. Thank you for my corners, for my brothers, for my team, Kill Cliff FC! Let's go! And thank you for my head coach, Henry Hoof. Thanks him a lot. Without him, I wouldn't be here. Yeah, thank you for my opponent, Way Top 5. He's good. Yarno Silla, let's go! So, Sharif, you're 4-0. You certainly looked very well versed inside this cage tonight. What's coming up next for you after this title win? Uh, there is a lot of fighters keep pulling out from the fight. I'm just gonna do a few more amateur fights. I'm just 18 years old and I'm ready wow. to go a pro. Let's go, 125. No one can stay next to me. I wrestle the fuck out of him, let's go. 125 right there, only 19 years old, moves a 4-0. Sharif, Cheetah, Orapov, your brand new AFL 